So hi everybody and welcome back to Sandra Ranch and Flyful Game Tutorial series for Absolute Beginners. This is video 37 and in this video we make that our chest opens and then pops up something which we can connect and you can see here is a big big scroll which was my test purposes. Okay let's get started. First of all you find the chest which we already set up and then you open this one. After you open this one you can see this is the same chest which we set up so that when we overlap with our character it is setting up new uh, static mesh which is the open chest and from this point we continue because we want more action what we want is we want spawn actor from class let's get it spawn actor from class and why we want spawn actor from class because now we want spawn another item which is which you can choose whatever you like in my case i choose the scroll which i made and important is you create just an actor, a blueprint actor like we created all time. And when you select this one here and compile, you get an arrow because it is important that we specify the transform node here as well. So we have to do this. So how I make this, so in my case, I connect this one here and show you this one from this point. So here is the scroll and now we have to define the spawn and the spawn you can make in many different ways you can just create uh yeah you can just create here uh, let's go here back and compile fast so you can just make here a marker and then spawn from this point or in my case i was just prototyping so i said i just take the chest adds a little bit value to it and then make this spawn point there so how i make this in my case here's the chest so i grab the chest in my viewport because we are already in the chest so i go here here's the chest i grab it then i get from out here get world uh, uh transform or location perhaps you can go for location perhaps to world to location or but but let's go for transform transform in this case because then i can directly set this other things too because you can go with yeah like i said there are many ways to do this one anyway in this case get world transform i need normally the location only but here right click on this one split uh, pin grab the location then uh, uh, write at because we want change the uh, position of the location that's why we go add and what we add is operator add where is this operator add so this operator add we need here here are many ads careful about this one operator add we want plus something and then uh, you can specify the location important is here you have to check this arrows the red one is this way and this is our uh, x which means if you want in this way you I go to plus you want to go this way minus in my case the uh, chest is facing backwards so this minus way that's why I have here minus 100 for example test purposes and set is just up you can test what you want I set it to 100 and then I make here again a transform make transform because now I created my change this is just change the transform now I recreate the transform and the other one I don't change I just connect them back and here and now I can just add this one and now this one will compile now because now we have a transform and like I said this kind of stuff there are many ways different ways to do it this is just prototyping this will spawn it but the problem with this one spawn is um, let's show it what is the problem when I spawn it this way uh, compile save play uh, yeah it's uh, not really working but what I want to show you is first I forgot something sorry we go back to the scroll which you created here this was this actor right you created here a uh, blueprint class you added here the static mesh you added here your static mesh here in the details panel here the static mesh here important is here you select now the static mesh again here then you go to details and right here simulate physics and here simulate physics 
you tick this on because what we got going to do now is add impulse to it why we add an impulse to it because it has this pop-up effect and this add impulse uh, implementation here i have from the web it's not my implementation but it works i want to test it it's again a prototype again this kind of stuff is also optional there are many millions other ways to do this but let's go for with that so what how we can add impulse now to this one first uh let's right click and make a vector uh, and write random vector in range or something was this is not uh sorry ra uh, random float was it not vector <laughs> also random float in range this time you can see we have a mendes random so here you select one this values they gave me i have not checked this one i just copied this one so zero minus zero point q5 and the other one plus 0 0.5 um, and then you just can copy this one because they are exactly the same so you just copy this one control cv copy this one and then after you have this both just make a vector this time we make a vector make vector why we make this vector this is just uh, changing a little bit uh, our direction and so on and you can see this is the random uh, ranges and here the first one random is x a little bit here then the other one is set and uh, y and set is uh, fixed there is no random it's one and then what we need to do for the impulse as well is um, we need a multiplier and the reason is this is this here what we are calculating right now is just the impulse uh, strength and here this is just a little bit direction and now we make a multiplier right here multiply and again the operator multiply and now you are wondering hey wait a minute this one is a float how I can get here a float and the way is you right click here and then you have your change uh, possibilities and you just take here float and then you promote this one to a variable here or you can just write it in this one in my case i have already one here and i set this one to this one you just name it i named it here launch multiplayer 2 because i already have one and then you compile important is this set uh, this value you have to set depends on the static mesh here this uh, uh, is a very big variable so in my case the scroll is very uh, not so uh, has not so high weight which means a low value and 10,000 is a low value for example I had before a cube I needed around 70,000 so the values are here very big if it's not popping up or if it's too flying fast away you go lower if it's not flying at all you go higher and something like that so you can play here around with this value so this year 10,000 otherwise 70,000 or 100,000 depends on the weight all right and then we are adding impulse so yeah from uh, here uh, we can write here at impulse let's write here at impulse and probably you are wondering wait a minute there is all things like a chest or anything like that it doesn't matter just select one the chest here is not what we want but you can just delete this one because it is just a target we need just to note it impulse and then we will set the target ourselves okay and now you can connect this one here but we are not finished like i said we need to, uh, to set this target and how we set this target again this is the return value of the scroll because we want that the scroll get this impulse here which we just uh, made this uh, calculated anyhow and so you get just from the return value here this one and then you will see that this one is creating something a converter it's converting says okay you get this one and the static mesh here and this is your target and that's right so this one works almost the problem here is this uh, scroll the static mesh which we are spawning here that will uh, that will have uh, a collision with our character and that is a problem so okay i delayed all this kind of stuff because this old kind of stuff is the same thing here we are at the same pace uh, this is exactly the same thing here what i made 
And now we add just one more thing. Here's the static mesh, which we just connected here in here from this static mesh we say okay we need just to ignore the character again this is prototyping you have to probably tinker around how you want this uh, in the final version i just write here uh, this note here this is set collision response to channel in this case as a set a collision because we have a problem with the character collision that correct uh, and you can see here are many different options I have not checked it, which is better. I made it just for prototyping, which means just for fast uh, showcase. I just take this, but perhaps there is another way. Check this out on your own, please. And then you select this one. You connect this one here. And uh, I uh, set collision respond to uh, respond collision respond to all channels oh not to all channels sorry i selected the wrong one set collision uh, coll uh where is this oh. ah anyway find this uh, note here <laughs> if until i find now this is this the set collision response to channel okay uh, set collision <laughs> response to channel this one here you have to find and why you have to find this one because here you can specify the target that was that from here you set here the target and here is important the channel which you want to ignore is the pawn this is our character here ignore my pawn and then uh, response ignore because don't overlap something because I said ignore this one and then that's it actually then you compile and save and if all works so far let's see if this works with our new setup here as well uh, then uh, let's see yeah yeah should work but let's see this one is exactly the same thing here like here you can see it's just a copy so I connect this one here it's exactly the same thing and then we can compile save this one and you can test this and again you have to tinker around so when you go here you can see the scroll which I made is too big, really big. And you will probably have one more problem because when you go here, sometimes it's popping up more times, which means let's change fast the scroll <laughs> size. Uh, I set it to big, perhaps. Let's open up this one. I go here to, to uh, this one. I go here details. I go here to uh, scale. Scale. Oh, come on. Where, why do you why do we do with me here this one here scale set this back to one uh, then we go back and what we want to do here there is one thing what I missed to tell you we need a do once note again again I talked about this do once is not so effective because when you click this one you can see a lot of notes here which we can actually avoid when you make just a bool variable a bool variable is just make here a bool variable and then a branch uh, you know this you make a branch one variable at start it is true and at the end here when it's fired so you said it false, which means if it goes here again it will be false so you cannot overlap it's a little bit but for again prototyping because that takes too much time I make this one do once note we add this one here uh, after the branch check true because it should just do this one time and then you can test this one more time and here it is popping up now and if i go in it is popping up no more scrolls it works i hope that helps so far and again there are many other implementations which i am not going to because you can tinker here a lot of different versions easy versions of course there is also a problem now with this version which is how the hell I'm going to pick up if I have ignored a character? Yes, that is perhaps, yeah, you have make a pickup system or we can just ignore the whole system and say, hey, we can disappear this box at all, just spawn it at the same place. Let me show you what I mean. Uh, you can go here, let's go here. Let's say I ignore all this kind of stuff because that's too much work i get and set the static mesh when i overlap to it to scroll and then i don't have to ignore at all and then when I, and then i can overlap it exactly what i mean what happens now is this we have no open effect here but we have look this 
the scroll is the box is replaced by the scroll and now you can just overlap it and this is a very fast way how you can make something different in an easier way when you have one not too heavy uh, gameplay uh, mechanics and something like that but okay this is just another thing like i said there are many many million ways to tinker here around and so on let's set this back to our chest okay if you have any questions like all time write in the comment section and uh, see you in the next video bye good luck and like all time have fun and never give up